Today, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm gonna show you how the Charlotte Pop and Foundry turns this into PVC and ABS pop and fitting. So walking through the airport with a bag of white powder like this might get you in trouble. Actually, well, it slowed me down a little bit, but not too bad. Guys, this video is sponsored by Ferguson, and I wanna say thank you to them because going out to Charlotte and getting to actually tour the plastics manufacturing facility was fantastic. Getting in and getting to see how they make fittings, how they make pipe, man, it was a blast. But then the full body cavity search at the airport, might have taken a little fun out of the trip, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, look, we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything they did for plumbers in the plumbing community. So Ferguson, thank you so much for setting this up. And Charlotte, we had a blast. So first of all, showing up in Charlotte, number one, it's a neat city, but to get out there and get to see the things that they do and how they do it. But not only that, just how amazing the people are. Look, I'm from Texas, so we really do take pride in how polite and friendly and courteous we are and how we really love making people feel at home and welcome here. To get to go through their plant and tour their plant after 40 years of plumbing to getting to watch to see how pipe is made, to see how the fittings are made. This was such a wonderful experience. I had so much fun, but anyway, man, let's get into it. Let's show you this. To watch the guys work, to watch them do what they do all day, every day, and to see how much they love their jobs. This was really a lot of fun. To me, Charlotte is more than just a pop and foundry company. And this place has a culture that is really neat. So number one, getting to drive around the pop yard was so much fun. If you look at how much stock they have on hand right here and realize this yard is probably half empty. They normally keep so much in stock, but with the crisis we're facing right now, resin, and the product that comes from the Gulf Coast that due to the freeze, they can't get their hands on as rapidly now, they're actually having to slow things down. Not that they want to, they just can't get the stuff in to make the product in time to get it as fast as it's ordered. And guys, that's why our prices are going up. It has nothing to do with Charlotte, it's the fact that their materials are going up. It's going up to the supply houses and then it goes up to the plumbers, so it's gonna have to go up for all of us. But I gotta tell you, seeing their yard, seeing how full it was and knowing how busy they stay to stay so far ahead of us, it was really a phenomenal experience. So walking into one of the first sections, one of the first factories is really cool. This is where they take big pop, I mean like 10, 12 inch pop, and they actually make fittings. One at a time, right here. So to get to watch them do this was actually neat. They take a piece of pop, they heat it up, they stretch it, they pull it, they glue other pieces together. This was so much fun to watch because, I mean, think about it. These people are literally making one fitting at a time. And it's so neat to listen to the process, they can actually fabricate them cheaper than they can build a mold for and mold them. Now, this was one of my favorite parts, getting to watch them make pot. Now, here we are at the beginning of the line, we're going back down to the end to watch it where it comes through. But literally, you've got this bag of resin that almost got me in trouble at the airport. But you've got this bag of resin, you've got plastics, you've got different things, and it's not really a bag of resin. They induce it in through a popping system that is actually really cool. To get to watch it right here at the very end, you see the popping coming in right up here at top through this vat. This is where everything comes in. And it comes in and then it goes down and just actually heats it up, melts it together and forms it. And this whole process is making pop, getting it to the right diameter, getting it to the right ID, cooling it down, labeling it, and then cutting it and getting it ready to go. To watch this process was so neat. Look in the end right there. That's the resin and everything coming in. Now everything comes in here in exact measurements. It's, everything is so precise and it's neat because right here, this pipe is literally so hot and they can change these heads right there to change the size of the pipe. So to watch them do this was really neat. And right there where it first came through, you could touch it and it's soft and pliable. Over the next 100 feet or so is where it gets cold, cools down to the right size. Now watching them label this and also put barcodes on it, this was neat. One of the things that did the saw right here, literally once it gets to a certain point, this saw down here actually slides and cuts as it goes. That way it doesn't give you a crooked cut. 
So many things about this were just laid out perfect. And it was neat to think, wow, I would have never thought about that. Okay, one of my favorite things about this whole trip, we actually got to go into the QAQC department. Now they pressure tested a piece of pipe. And as a plumber, you know, we always think, man, I wonder how much pressure that would hold. The numbers on this thing were phenomenal. They literally put it together, they fill it with water, make sure they get all the air out due to air compression, and then pressurize it. And to watch it come up to about 1200, 1250 PSI before it ruptures was so cool. Anyway, check this out. This was fun to watch. Yeah, that one broke. I believe this one was up to 1250 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. So this is why they say you don't ever want to pump it up with air. You see all the shrapnel that could literally hurt somebody. Now, this was another fun thing, watching the process of it make a fitting. And there was a mold injection that we got to see. These are the stainless steel molds for the inside and outside of plastic fittings. And you can see the way the injection molding is done. Literally, you've got the cross right there in the middle. They inject the hot plastic that's literally about the consistency of ketchup. It's thicker than water, not near as thick as Play-Doh or something. And the way this thing shifts around, you've got these stainless pieces that go down in the middle of the fitting. You've got the casings on the outside. You inject the mold into it. It sets, it pulls it apart, pulls the insides out, drop the fitting out. This is one of the coolest things I got to see. And as soon as I walked up to this, I knew what it was. It's like, okay, this is so cool to see how smooth and easy this thing slides together, slides apart, makes the fitting, and then spits them out. This is one that was just really neat to get to see the entire process. See how the pieces come in, lock up like that. The other piece comes up, they inject the mold in it. It comes out, pulls out, the fittings drop. And I gotta tell you, out of everything I saw at Charlotte, and don't get me wrong, nice people, wonderful people, great conversation, great videos to watch to see how they do things and how to do it safely. But I gotta tell you, seeing this, as soon as I walked up and realized how fittings were made, that's where it all changed. This was really cool. So I like this where he talks about the screw too. This screw's in that pipe. So it injects this hot plastic in here and this screw starts turning to force it down in there. That way, it gets it into all the crevices everywhere that it needs to be. And I gotta tell you, in about 40 years of plumbing now, I've only ever seen one fitting that had a hole in it, and you could tell it was like it was melted funny or something, but they assured me that fitting didn't come from Charlotte. Now, if you hadn't done it yet, do me a favor, go over to Ferguson's Facebook group or go to ferguson.com, but go to the Facebook group and check in and see what kind of conversations are going on over there. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.